What's up, Amazon sellers? We all know how much time sourcing takes and how hard it can be, especially when it comes to analyzing deals, which is why Seller Amp aims to make sourcing simpler. In this video, I'm gonna share with you my honest review of Seller Amp, or SaaS as it is known. Stay tuned. Hi guys, if you don't know who I am, my name is Thomas Parkinson and I've been selling on Amazon now for four years. Now I'm on a mission in 2021 to do one million pounds by the end of this year. And if you wanna see more about my journey, have a look up there. I'll drop a link to a video that just talks all about it. I document it and I even share my profits and obviously what I'm learning from it. So check that out, it's gonna help you out. Okay, so enough about me, what am I gonna go through today? First things first, I'm gonna give you an intro to SaaS. Number two, I'm gonna go through what is SaaS. Number three, I'm gonna go why it's important to use a deal analysis software like SaaS. Number four, I'll give you a review of SaaS. Number five, I will show you how to analyze deals using SaaS on a live screen share. And then finally, number six, I'll give you some top tips and tricks that are gonna really help you out. So let's get into it now. Now, you might be asking the question, why are we creating this video? Well, quite simply, we wanted to support Amazon sellers by sharing our knowledge about the different sourcing tools available. We appreciate that there are many tools out there and we want to help you by giving you the information you need to make the right decisions. I want to be honest with you. I use a different tool, as you've probably seen in many of my demonstration videos. Now, to support you, my purchasing manager actually uses SaaS and he loves it. So this is where I'm getting information from today for this video from my purchasing manager. Now that leads me quite nicely on to number two, what is SaaS? So before anything else, what is SaaS? Well, SaaS stands for Sourcing Analysis Simplified, which helps you understand eligibility, competition, profitability, and so, so much more. It tells you if a deal meets your sourcing criteria and supports you in analyzing deals. Quick question for you guys, are you using SaaS already or are you using another tool? Let me know in the comments down below. Let me know what you're using or if it's another tool, let me know that as well. Now, number three, why is it important to use deal analysis software or deal analysis calculators like SaaS? Well, quite simply, you can do deal analysis manually and I'll never deny that, but oh my God, it is slow. SaaS speeds up this process and it makes it simple, hence the name Sourcing Analysis Simplified. For example, you can check if it's a good deal based on eligibility to sale, hazmat, and many other factors. So without it, it'd be harder and slower for you to identify good deals. And we all know time is money. So the more deals you can review, the more money you can make. And you know what? We are here to make money. Okay, so I've talked about SaaS and what it does, why you need to have it and where we're getting this information from, i.e. my team and my purchasing manager. But what I'm going to do now is give you my honest review of the software. And to do this, I need to jump onto a screen share on my computer and use this tool. So what I'm going to say is stay to the end because I will be giving you a step-by-step -step guide of how my team analyzes deals using this software. So let's jump on the computer now and give you a review of the actual tool itself. Okay, so I've just loaded up into a product here and obviously I've got SaaS installed and I've set SaaS to sit onto the right hand side. So a couple of things that I really like about SaaS, just even before we get into the actual panel itself, you can have it change how it works. So you can put it into a small box, you can move it onto the right hand side, you can move it onto the left hand side, or I think you can even float it as well and it comes into a floatable panel that you can move around. For me personally, I like to have it onto one side. My purchasing manager is exactly the same, but I do just like that. I think that's a really nice feature there that allows you to set that workspace up. It's gonna help you out. Okay, so what I'll do now is zoom in and obviously show you actually a bit more about SaaS itself. So let's zoom in. Okay, so just coming in straight into the top, we've got some really nice little shortcuts here that you can jump to different parts of the tool because there are lots of information on here. Obviously we have information about the product itself here, like we've got the actual product reviews, the ASIN, the EAN number, and you can literally open up our product page if you want to do this, I really like that. Now, quite simply up here, we've got some quick information. So it says if you're eligible to sell, the BSR, the maximum cost, the cost price and the sale price, um, and also profit and ROI, it just helps you out. Now, obviously it's got here, you can put in the calculator, and if I were to drop in, let's say for example 10, you can see up here, it just shows me this information. The one thing I will say is the eligible to sell isn't showing right now because the account I am on right now is in the process of being verified. So that's probably why that's not working, but I know it works. My purchasing manager, do not worry about that. So 
And you can see here, you can put in the cost price, the fulfillment type, easy to change that between FBM and FDA, and it updates in real time. You can adjust the storage in months, and it's showing you clear information, profit, ROI, you know, the costs, you can see that here. You can see your fees and it hides them away, but if you want to see it, you can see all the information as well. Super useful information such as break even sale price and your Amazon payout if you're on that. We've got an IP alert here that I really like. And if you want to know, we've actually worked in partnership with SAS to support them in their IP alerts. And that's with the Fast Track FDA brand uh, IP checker. And then also as well down here, you've got all the key information that you're looking for. So the different types of graphs, you can scroll through 180 days, 60 day, just gonna show you that information, different marketplaces, and you can get a feel for what's going on with the products. I like that as well. Come down, you can export to different Google Sheets. So we've got like SAS Buy Sheet 2, SAS Buy 3, sheet 3 or 4. You can have multiple buy sheets onto this. I think that's a great feature that a lot of people talk about. And also as well, adding in notes. I love that. My God, the amount of times we need to add notes to products. Maybe the way I'm going to play it, what's going on, buy low, you know, buy now, get it sold quick, buy now, hold it for the long term. This product is going to be replenishable. Those notes really help you out. Now you can click here, discount, so you can add a 5, 10, 15, 25% discount to your buy price, and it's going to recalculate those profits really quickly. You can change your VAT scheme if you're obviously an EU registered seller, you've got the VAT there. And also in the EU, you can look at marketplaces as well. But for us in the US, you might just hide that, we're not interested. It also shows you here the offers, so it tells you the stocks, the price, the profits, the ROI, and it allows you to see if you were selling at that price, what's the profit and ROI going to be. Again, really easy, handy to use information that's going to help you out. And you can see the history here, which I particularly like, of when the last time you've looked at this product. So you can see my team, last time they checked that, we've logged in, they actually looked at this product a while ago, the ASIN. You can see the prices and what happened, cost price, sale price, if they saved it. So really, really useful. Now down here, you can click on add product and it's just going to link you straight through to your Amazon seller page, your inventory page, or even the orders page if you want to know more. Now the other bits and bobs, you can have a look down here, ranks, what's going on with the rank, price history, you know, over the 30 day, 90 day, 180. There are so many functionality here and they've even got functionality to go into Arbitrage Hero, which is like a third party sourcing tool. There's like Tactical Arbitrage, Source Mogul and Arbitrage Hero. You can do a reverse search. So they work in partnership with other people and it just helps speeding up your process. So really, really like that. Lots and lots of bits and the fact that you can hide the different sections means that you only need to see what you want to see the right panels that allows you to do that analysis quicker for you and just saves you time when you're doing that deal analysis by looking at only the information you want to see it makes it so much easier okay one thing which i will say about SaaS is that it is made by a fellow amazon seller a guy called al carton and i know al carton personally and he has sold some big numbers on amazon so i certainly understand that al knows what amazon sellers are looking for and if you want to see more about al carton's journey do check out a really old video or interview i did with him i'll drop a link up here you can just see more about the creator of this amazing tool Okay, that leads me nicely on to do a step-by-step -step walkthrough on how my VA or my purchasing manager analyzes deals using SaaS. So before I do anything else, what I just want to say is make sure that you set up your SaaS settings correctly. Go to the settings, enter in your fees and costs, and set your buying criteria, i.e. minimum profit and ROI. This buying criteria will be the basis of the color indicator feature, that green and that red, to let you know if this product is making the profit and ROI you are looking for. One setting you really need to get correct is your VAT scheme setting. And if you are VAT registered, change it. But if you are not or you're unsure, set it to the default setting. This is, and that's obviously if you're offering EU seller, USA sellers, you don't need to worry about that. Okay, now I've finished setting up, what I'm gonna do is jump on the PC and I'll give you an example of how we do deal analysis or my purchasing does deal analysis using SaaS. Let's jump on the computer now. Now, first things first, what he will do is if I zoom in, he will always check the eligibility to sell. Now, for my account, we're still going through verification, but obviously you would see that if you can sell it or if you can't. Next thing, what he's gonna do is drop in his cost price and say so for us, He's going to see right away if it's meeting the profit and ROI, and we can see the beautiful green boxes to tell us that that meets our criteria. Now, he will have a look at the BSR, and as you can see, this product I've purposely chosen. Why? Because it's a very, very high BSR, and I wanted to show you that it goes red just to draw your eye, and I really love that. So, 
we're looking at eligibility sale, profit ROI, and the BSR, which is saying, actually, does it meet our criteria? And these two do, this one doesn't, which is really good. Now, those, once those checks are done, he's gonna come down and have a look at Hazmat. No, it's not a hazardous product, we're really happy with that. Also as well, any issues with IP alerts, private label, or even Amazon sharing the buy box, no, all green, really like that. But it does mention this product has a few historic sellers, which could be a sign it's private label. So giving us a warning there, that's super important. Then finally coming down, doing the keeper analysis. And what he's gonna do is jump out to a 365 day. Why? He just wants to get a feel for that product over the whole year. This product again has not sold in a very long time. You can see no Amazon and the sales probably aren't where they need to be. But by looking at that keeper analysis over the whole year, just by clicking 365, very, very simple and allows you to fully understand. Now that leads me nicely to scroll down and what you'll go down to is the offer count and just looking at the number of sellers and what their offers are. So we've got an idea now of profit, we've got an idea of IP checking and if we are eligible to sell it. And then finally, we're going on to what's the competition, which is gonna allow us to understand how many we want to buy. Now that is pretty much the step-by-step -step analysis he will doing. And he has the panes or the panels, which you can see here, opened and closed, just allow him to do that analysis very, very quickly. And by having things such as these red and green boxes, just draw his eyes to where the tool is telling him where there might be a possible problem or something that he might need to do further analysis in. Super helpful. And I'll say it again, my purchasing manager loves this tool, finds it so, so, efficient and fast for him to do his analysis. Okay, so that is how my purchasing manager uses the SaaS or sourcing analysis simplified tool. Now, the one thing I would say is this tool really helps speed up your sourcing or deal analysis process. It just makes so much, it makes it so much easier. But, you know, even with tools like this, sourcing for deals does take time and it is hard work. And if you are anything like me, you value your time and that is your most important asset. Well, if you are looking for deals, looking to scale your business, grow faster and save time, check out Fast Track FBA Leads. This is a service I've created whereby we've got a team of VAs sourcing seven days a week, USA and UK marketplaces looking for online arbitrage leads. And what are they doing? They are finding everything on all the marketplaces, all the stores, and we put them onto our web platform. What do you, what can you do? You can come in, search all the deals, looking for the ones that work for your business. Maybe you're a high volume seller. Maybe you're a new seller with ungated or looking for ungated deals. Or maybe you like slower sellers with much higher profits. You can search for just those types of deals, pick and choose the ones that you want, and then you can unlock them, go and buy them from the supplier and sell them on Amazon for a profit. If you want to see more and how the system works and how you can see all our deals every single day, have a look down below, Fast Track FBA Leads. Trust me, I think you'll really love it. Okay, now we're on to number six, which is top tips for using SaaS. Quite simply, before further checking a deal first, review the BSR and if Amazon is on the listing and if the profit meets your sourcing criteria, generally speaking, most new sellers will move on if Amazon is on the listing or the BSR exceeds 100,000. They'll generally move on. Number two, I recommend go through their YouTube tutorials and go through their channel. I'll drop a link down below. Actually, I'll drop a link up there. That's just gonna really help you understand how to use this tool really effectively. And I'll say finally, number three, I didn't go through it on this demonstration, but one thing you can do with SaaS, which I think is amazing, is not just do the deal analysis within the Amazon page, you can actually load up the calculator on the supplier page. So if you know the text, i.e. let's say for example, on a supplier, Walmart for example, you can search for the same product on the Walmart page and do the whole analysis on that just gonna help speed up the process. I know lots of people do enjoy using the tool that way. Now, what I will say is using SaaS really helps speed up finding deals on Amazon. But the one thing I think all of us need to do is find more products on Amazon. And if you are interested in learning about how to find more products on Amazon, I'll drop a link to a video around here that's gonna help you find more deals on Amazon. Check that out, it's gonna help you out. But hey, if you've liked this video, give me a thumbs up. And hey, if you wanna see more videos like this, be sure to hit that subscribe button. That's the subscribe button just down below to see more videos like this. But for me, Thomas Parkinson, from Fast Track FBA, thank you very much.